Okay, and here I am with the Steinway Model 40. Um, again, you know, the age of the piano is listed there. It's, I think it's in the 40s. And again, I would say it's in remarkably good condition for being from the 40s. Uh, the finish does have little things, like I noticed somebody here, it looks like they tried to fill something. Maybe it was a ding or something. Or I mean, like a, and there's a little, little nicks every once in a while places. Um, excuse the keys, I didn't wipe them down yet. There's some specs on them. Again, trying to get different angles, different lighting so you can see. So again, little surface things that could be buffed out if you were, uh, if you wanted them to be. Uh, down underneath here. Again, looks really good for its age. Now the bench that came with it is this one. It does have the tapered legs, very similar to the piano itself. I have not cleaned up the bench yet. It does have a break in it, so I was gonna glue that or simply sell the piano with a different bench. I can clamp that and glue that, hopefully so that it would hold well. Maybe I can even put some reinforcement with some screws or something in it so that it would be stable. And the bench does not, oh, okay. No, it doesn't open up really. It's, it's, uh, it's just covered with some material. So you can recover that if you want that bench with it. I will glue it together. Uh, if you decide to take the piano. So this one does the lid lifts up in a conventional manner. And uh, here you can see the typical Steinway, um, Steinway has patents. And we look inside to make sure that a Steinway is truly a Steinway. I got stung on one of these not too long ago. Um, somebody faked it. People fake Steinways because it's, a, of course, a very world-class piano. One of, I'd say one of the top three to five pianos in the world. And they have a diaphragmatic soundboard and then also an accelerated action. And then you can look inside the instrument here and see that I have um, actually filed the hammers. They did have some good-sized grooves in them. And you know from the last instrument that I talked to you about, uh, that we do file hammers. And again, these hammers have been filed, but they're now in good, very good condition. I filed them myself. And we do that to take the surface grooves out because that compacts the felt and changes the sound. So that is the action on this one. It's in remarkably good condition for its age. Again, this piano is a lot older, but in fact, it is a Steinway. The pins are tight. They have not been driven. Again, people would drive the pins to make them tighter. So at some point, we have to do that when the pins start getting tight, but I mean loose, but these pins have never been driven. All right, I'm gonna set the phone down for a second, and I'm gonna get underneath the instrument. And take, well, you know what, let me do this first. So you can see, the way this particular fall board works is a two-part fall board. Um, and there are little buttons here, kind of convenient, that you pick up. And then that closes the lid down on a Steinway. So this is how it looks then completely closed up. Again, definitely mid-century modern, I think, for sure. Um, so let me get underneath. I'm gonna set the phone down for a second, and I'm gonna get underneath. Pull the kickboard off on this one. Now this Steinway has a, a nice feature installed in it already, which is a damp chaser system. And you know, the damp chaser system helps you keep the humidity out of your piano. Um, so it's part of the reason why this one is in such remarkable condition for its age. There are no cracks in the soundboard. There are likewise no cracks in the bridges. The strings are in very good condition, but they're not looking new like in the Yamaha, obviously. But if I were to service this piano for a customer, I would not recommend replacing these strings at all. They're looking really good shape. Of course, the plate in this one is painted black 
very different than what we saw in the Yamaha. So that is the kickboard taken off. There's the pedals. Again, I could do a little vacuuming down here that would help with the instrument. Okay, that is the Steinway. Thanks, Ian.